the honorable commissioner here kindly kindly maintain silence so that we can begin please good morning and welcome to this press conference by election commission of india seated before you are the chief election commissioner of india shri rajiv kumar ji to his right is election commissioner shri anup chand pandey ji to his left is election commissioner shri arun goel ji we are also joined by senior deputy election commissioners shri dharmendra sharma ji shri nitesh vyas ji election deputy election commissioners shri ajay bhadu mr rk gupta and i am dg media shifali sharan so i would request you to kindly make your opening statement and thereafter the floor would be open for their questions thank you thank you shifali ji honorable election commissioner shri anup chand pandey ji on my right and shri arun goel ji on my left senior officers dcs of the commission friends from media present here first of all very good morning we have gathered here to announce the schedule for the karnataka election and the by elections you may recall that after the successful and peaceful conduct of elections in the three states of the northeast just early this year it is now time to move to the southern part of the country what a stark difference in terms of geography culture and very challenges that we have in two different sets of uh, states where we are doing the elections the challenges in northeast were very different than what we have in karnataka and but what remains consistent and constant is our commitment to deliver a free fair transparent and inducement free election so be it northeast south across the length and breadth of the country we are committed to do it and you may recall that the challenges in the recently held elections were more in terms of controlling the violence handling the tough topography making the logistical arrangements making machines move the electoral machinery move whereas in karnataka the challenges are of a different nature which i will elaborate well you eagerly must be waiting for the schedule listed way but just give me 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes to uh, tell you the basics profiling the term of karnataka legislative assembly is till 24th of may 2023 so we have to complete the entire process before that there are 224 assembly constituencies of which 36 are reserved for the sc scs and 15 are reserved for the sts let me just also tell you the electors profile in the state because a healthy electoral roll is a prerequisite and a foundation for any election uh, activity and an exercise total electors in the states are 5.21 crores of which male electors are 2.62 and female electors are around 2.59 almost equal and during the ex ssr exercise which we completed the commission laid uh, special emphasis on the as i have been repeatedly saying on the inclusive part of the electoral roll and also the human part of the election roll what does it entail it means we laid a special emphasis on registration of new age voters between 18 to 19 years women transgenders persons with disabilities and also in uh, karnataka on the particularly vulnerable tribal groups who are the disadvantaged groups if you look at any human uh, development indices the particularly vulnerable tribal groups are the one who are at the lowest of the ladder so we said we'll have a special outreach i'll uh, touch on that in one of the slides the role gender ratio in the state stands at 988 which is very healthy and uh, the copies of the electoral rolls including the process by which it was prepared have all been shared with the political parties and uh, the involvement was at every stage 
So friends, senior citizens and PWDs, as we have been putting a special emphasis on this part, and it's, it's <coughs> important in case of Karnataka because it will happen first time in Karnataka. The total number of 80 plus uh, electors is 12.15 lakhs. So you would see that it's an increase of 32 percent from the 2018. And they also includes 16,976 proud electors who are 100 plus. We'll be having a special outreach for all of them. The persons with disabilities, as you would see a sharp increase because of our focus, has increased to 5.55 lakhs. This is an increase of close to 150 percent over 2018. And you may ask me how it has happened. It's the social justice departments of the states give scholarships to various persons with disabilities. We also collected data from them so that, you know, we can have an outreach. We can go to their houses and have a special outreach to persuade them to facilitate them to become our voters. And uh, this is the result of that. And through your medium, we would like to welcome them, pay our gratitudes to all the senior citizens and the persons with disabilities, transgenders, to please come and participate in all, with all vigor in the election. Uh, and, and, and we are having a special uh, attempt for that, which includes that for the first time, this uh, facility for uh, voting from home would be available in Karnataka to the 80 plus voters and also to the persons with disabilities. It has been a very successful and very reassuring and very uh, happy experience for all of us in the commission to just uh, report through you in recently five state elections which we have had recently, Himachal, Gujarat, Tripura, uh, Meghalaya and Nagaland. Over 73,200 persons with disabilities and 80 plus senior citizens, we have been able to go to their house and take their votes. I mean, for one vote, three to four persons go. All the political parties are informed, it's videographed so that secrecy is not uh, compromised. But it is worth the effort. The, it puts a pressure on the administration, on the already strained administration during the elections. But then, to get to the boat, to take the boat from the senior citizens of PWD is a very happy thing. And we will put it in the coming elections and we will put it in the coming elections. So, coming to the inclusive elections and connecting with the youth, which is very critical in case of uh, all the elections, but more so in Karnataka and uh, in terms of uh, youth and urban, I will tell you how. So the first time voters in uh, Karnataka, because of our special effort as I just mentioned, has increased from 18 to 19 by 9.17 lakhs. And the young electors gender ratio, which was low at 720 has increased to 820. It's a jump of 100 percent. So means we have been able to get more and more girls in the age of 18 to 19 registered in our, in our electoral rules. So it's, it's far more gender uh, sensitive now. And all young voters who are turning 18 years by 1st of April 2023 will be able to vote in this forthcoming election. So this again, I want to tell you about it again. From the commission's efforts, there was an amendment in the law in the law of four qualifying dates. Every quarter of the first date. So, we started the process of the application to take the process of the advance. In that, those people who are 18 years old, their petitions have been kept in place and those people who are 41,000 are such because of this change in amendment would be able to cast their vote. Otherwise, they would have to wait. They would have waited for the next year, 1st of January, to become eligible. So this is the power of that amendment, which we uh, I've just wanted to tell you. And youth participation in the electoral process, as you know, brings in the required energy and rhythm, yielding to a more vibrant and argumentative electoral process. 
participative electoral process, which is, which is again a very healthy sign for the democracy. And as our National Voters Day theme was, not, it is, there is nothing like voting. So this is what we are popularizing amongst the youth and through you, also requesting that they, when we have taken so much of effort to make them voters, let them also respond by coming to the polling stations on the date which we will announce now. Coming to the particularly vulnerable tribal groups as are again a human face and an inclusive agenda for the electoral rolls. The purity and the inclusiveness and the health of electoral rolls is one of the focus of the commission, uh, more so this year. So there are two PVTGs in Karnataka, Jenu Kurba and Koraga tribes. And the total population is 46,852 and 18 plus is 30,507. And you would be happy to know that we have been able to enroll 100%. Primitive, these two PVTGs. Or in ke liye, 40 ethnic booth bhi hum bana rahe, taki wo apne melu mein, apne tarike se, they feel happy participating in our elections. Similarly, for transgenders, total transgenders in the state as per the records of the department concerned is 42,756 and we have been able to enroll through our outreach in our process 41,312, which is again almost uh, complete. Kuch aise bhi log hain jo apne aapko electoral role mein as transgender mark nahi karana chate. Hamari unse appeal hai ki agar aise kuch log chhut gaye to jis jis form mein jis sensitivities ke saath wo apne aap ko attach mark karana chahte hain hum usme ek kadam unse aage badhke unki madad karenge aur unko add karenge now after voters to give you a feel and a overview of the polling stations there are 58282 polling stations in the in the state of karnataka of which 20,866 are urban. And I'll tell you what special efforts are required for these urban uh, area per, per polling stations. Average electors per polling stations comes to 883, and we'll be doing as usual the 50% uh, webcasting, which comes to 29,140. On all these sensitive booths which have been identified, we take four or five majors. Either they would be a CAPF or there would be webcasting or there would be a micro observer. It's a combination and cumulatively uh, through a combination of all of this, we tend to put more vigor and resil, uh, vigil on the um, sensitive booths. For enhanced voter experience, how do we ensure that voters feel happy, want to come to the booth and take part in the festival of democracy? There would be close to 1,320 polling stations which would be managed exclusively by the women. Ye bhi unke har election mein hum kar rahe unke ek empowerment ka bhi part hai. It, there is a feeling that yes, we can do it. And uh, election exercises in the even remote places, there were booths in the recently held elections which were all managed by the women including the security personnel. Aur isi tarike se, 240 polling stations would be model polling stations which may eco-friendly or green booths unko banayenge. Aur ye bhi ek naya priyas shuru kiya hai ki jab youth nahi aate hain voting mein to hum polling stations ko bhi apne youth jo employees hain unse manage kare. To jo bhi youngest employees hain jis district mein jo bhi appointments recent to hain unhi ko train karke unko bhi empower kar rahe hain to is liye 224 such booths would be set up which would be managed by only the youngest possible, uh, the employees of the government. And 100 uh, booths would be managed purely by the persons with disability. We have started another attempt from the last uh, three elections, which is an ongoing uh, effort, that we want to make now the availability of AMF almost permanent in all these schools. And here in Karnataka, we are progressing quite well. As you would see on the slide, we are almost uh, 
98-97 percent in terms of uh, all the parameters which are uh, ramps, toilets, uh, electricity. I am sure that and hopefully in this election the time is still there till the elections polling stations are prepared. Whatever one or two percent in each category is left, we have emphasized to the state government for which we have got a uh, quite firm uh, assurance that they will try and convert 100 percent facilities in all these schools on a permanent basis. And if this happens, which I am sure, which we are all sure would happen, that's a goal to aspire for for the elections coming during the current years in the late, later this year and also the general election. So friends, now coming to the urban apathy, this is one area as I said that in Karnataka the areas of concerns would be different. So urban apathy is one and uh, money power is another which will come to after this. So in urban apathy, the total voter turnout in the state is 72.4 in uh, 2018. Against this, as you know the overall country, if you look at the 2019 general elections, so the 20 top ke, uh, constituencies in which the most voting hui, unme se no urban area mein iske naam yahan diye hain main pad jada nahi padhna chahta but they are in the top 20 and if you look at the karnataka to jahan 72% voting hai wahan bangalore ke south north central aur bangalore mein wo voting kafi kam hai 57 51 53 55 57 as against 72 and another disturbing trend is that it is reducing even from the earlier election, 2013 election. It was even more in 2013, it is reduced in 2018. So when we went there, we did, um, we did call a large number of universities, students and talk to them. And then we also decided that in addition to the awareness activities like the electoral literacy clubs and the voluntary action forums. We'll also do a, because the Karnataka and Bangalore happens to be the knowledge city and the IT city of the country. So why don't we take advantage of their expertise? So we, we, we requested the uh, IT sector and uh, through you we want to thank that uh, IASC came forward and they are doing an electhon. Instead of hackathon we are saying it electhon. For what? They say, we are saying that how to enhance the participation of urban and youth, can we techni technologically connect to them more, can we do outreach in a different way and how to ensure the registration of new voters more and more, we don't have to work so hard, is there a problem with our uh, software, is there a way we can motivate them to do it, how can from the universities, uh, or from the colleges, schools rather from the 12th, Almost everybody becomes 18, 12 years, 12th class when you pass plus 5 if you add, so mostly 17, 17 and a half and 18. So you are to give the vote, but you have a commitment to the vote. So in this electron, we have also kept this to devise a solution that how can it boost voter turnout on the election day. And we have also another method that we have also given you, I will tell you later. Kisne institutes are connected to us? Indian Institute of Technology, Indian Institute of Science, large number of startups, large number of IT professionals. So we are thankful to all of them. And 47% uh, have added to, to on, on working on how to do the registration free, some are working uh, easily, some are working with us on how to make the youth turn out on the day of election. So, uh, this result we will again uh, share with everybody when it comes, the solutions when they are given and need, and, 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 and to aane wale election se uske liye, hum log samajhte hain ki ye ek hume, um, aisi technology, aisi outreach batayega, jo unki samajh mein aati hai, because it's a place where you have most of the educated youth and, <laughs> and the urban areas. As regards the candidates, you are all aware, just to repeat the same thing, 
the uh, know your candidate and the affidavits all this are available on the through the technology knowing the candidate is possible through the know your candidate application and for political parties uh, these applications are uh, helping them to file the nominations online and to also apply for the entitlements which they have in terms of uh, passes or in terms of booking the grounds for the election rallies etc and it is all strictly everyone has been uh, instructed to follow first in first out principle jisne pehle apply kiya uska digital trail usme rahega aisa nahi ki apply ek party ne kiya aur aapne dusri party ko jagah de di nahi it is a fair and level playing field which they have to ensure सी विजिल ऐप की काफ़ी प्रचार कर्नाटका के इलेक्शन में किया है बिकॉज ये वहाँ बहुत रिलेवेंट है बिकॉज वॉट न्यू चैलेंज वी फाउंड इन कर्नाटका इज इन एडिशन टू दी यूथ एंड अर्बन एपैथी इज द मनी पार सो दिस इज बींग पॉपुलराइज ए लॉट एंड आई शेयर विद यू इवन बिफोर एम सी सी वॉट एड है एम सी सी विल कम इन फोर्स फ्रॉम टूडे बट वेन वी वेंट देयर i'll show you just because of uh, the uh, our sincerity on this subject and telling the district uh, officials and enforcement agencies what is the result i'll show you that so before coming to that the just to uh, narrate that in recently held elections uh, total number of polling stations are given here and there was no repolling so we want to carry forward this uh, uh, trend no violence no repolling and no no or or evm bhi bach gayi unko bhi gali wali zyada nahi padi so matlab usi cheez ko aage badhanete hue humne wahan kafi koshish ki hai ki jitne bhi polling stations hain unme आप ऐसे प्रोसेसेस को अपनाएंगे डिस्ट्रिक्ट मजिस्ट्रेट्स आर ऑन द जॉब दैट दे मेक द एक्सपीरियंस फॉर द वोटर वेरी गुड सो दैट दे आर दे आर दे आर दे आर एनकरेज टू कम एंड सम आर वर्किंग इवन ऑन एप्लीकेशंस वेयर इफ वी कैन टेल इन एडवांस द द क्यू सो दैट यू कैन प्लान योर विजिट टू द पोलिंग स्टेशन एंड अवॉइड डिस्टेंडिंग ऑन द थिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो वर्क इन progress the seizures in the earlier in these five elections as to tell you the uh, kind of uh, rigor and emphasis jo elections ko inducement free karane mein kiya ja raha hai panch elections jo abhi hoke chuke hain unme 18 aur 17 mein jo isse pehle hue the 43 crores ke against mein 1028 crores ka seizure tha and isme drug seizures because it we are saying liquor drug money freebies and drug in particular because wo puri ki puri society ko aur bachcho ko kharab karne ki unme chhamta hai so all enforcement agencies we have said that there is a absolute uh, strict vigil you have to have on movement of any kind of uh, material which can induce the elections and fairly and i'll show you what has happened we are strengthening our teams in karnataka to curb the misuse of money power from 1900 in 2018 we are increasing to 2400 these are the teams which will have the sensitive constituencies expenditure observers we are increasing assistant observers flying squads and all to put extra pressure and make it clear to all political parties and candidates that money power they have to just zero tolerance which we are showing from our side and just to tell you that um, the state has uh, 19 districts total 171 interstate check posts uh, are being operationalized for this purpose where excise department commercial tax department police department and even the forest department in areas where the forests are there and there are check posts there they may not be the uh, highways or the state ways but there are the points of entry all 
places there would be a strict vigil and nudging towards ethical elections there are there are uh, uh, exercises which are being done with the uh, awareness which is being done say for instance this is by the commercial department uh, and just to tell you uh, it's another when we talked about it in nagaland from civil society there were groups formed in the villages and villagers came out resisting anybody who was uh, trying to bribe the voters in the villages will this i i i keep i am repeating it here just to encourage and thank those uh, citizens who have helped us in uh, curbing the menace of uh, manipur and you see we have directed all the enforcement agencies which include the state police state excise narcotics uh, coast guards ed airport authority state level committees bankers committee what is their role just in brief jitne airports hain wahan aur jitne landing uh, air strips hain even choppers they will all 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 landings will be checked so that there is no way that they can be used for movement of any kind of uh, uh, what you call the money or something uh, isi tarah se जो चेक पोस्ट और स्पेशल हाईवेज विच हैव बीन आइडेंटिफाइड एंड गोडाउंस गोडाउंस विच आर इन अंडर द कॉमर्शियल टैक्सेस डिपार्टमेंट वेयर हाउसेस लीकर ऑल हैव बीन मैप्ड सो दैट देर इज नो इंक्रीज और ए ट्रेंड ऑफ गुड्स कमिंग दैट सिमिलरली फॉर फ्री बीज ई बे बिल ई बे बिल्स आर बींग चेक टू सी इन एनी पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट if there is an increase of the material getting entry to those particular district slbc we have also banned requested all the banks directed them actually that no movement of the vans which carry cash to fill the atms will happen during the late hours so that they cannot be used at times such vans are used for carrying cash all that has been stopped in terms of um, what happened in uh, karnataka after we, our last visit which was see just some pictures even mcc has not come into force and this is across the parties freebies cash liquor all that have been started already having been seized and it is already crossed almost what was seized during the elections last time and i i want to thank the district uh, administration and enforcement agencies on this because having by and large tackled the issue of masil par in the elections this is now the focus and the time that we handle the money power also and before mcc comes into me because humne unko yahi kaha कि एमसीसी का मुहूर्त क्यों देखना है आपके पास तो सेक्शन हैं आईपीसी की अगर कोई भी ब्राइव के लिए वोटर्स को इंड्यूस करने के लिए अगर अभी से सामान लेके आ रहा है उस पर कैंडिडेट का नाम लिखा हुआ है बैग के ऊपर कुकर के ऊपर रखे हुए हैं ये गोडाउन जिसमें देखिए आप लिखे हुए नाम भी लिखे हुए हैं तो उसको सीज करके उस पर क्रिमिनल केस करने के लिए एम की जरूरत क्यों है एंड थैंकफुली ऑल ऑफ दैम रिस्पॉन्डेड and we are sure that this will peak now and again through your medium we want to say that citizens also help us by using sea vigil more and more and it is our guarantee that in 100 minutes we will not only reach there we will also report back saying as to what had happened so friends now coming to what you have been waiting for mujhe schedule the schedule for the karnataka assembly elections for 2023 would be like this the gazette notification would be issued on 13th of uh, april last date of making nominations would be 20th of april date of scrutiny would be 21st april 2023 after that the withdrawal of the candidature can be up to 24th of april the polling will take place on 10th of 5 in single phase and day of counting would be 13th of may 
so this is the schedule for the Karnataka elections there are also some by elections which are uh, due uh, in the country in various uh, legislative assemblies and parliamentary constituents so we are uh, uh, simultaneously announcing the by elections also so the by elections will take place for the assembly for the assembly in uh, odisha jharsugda in up in suar upac 34 395 chennai in up soyong in meghalaya in 23 and also in the parliamentary constituency number 4 in jalandhar punjab so this will fill up all our vacancies till february 2023 so this is the schedule and i once again before ending through the friends from media i want to appeal to all the voters of karnataka young urban areas rural area pbtgs women transgender pwds senior citizens to please come forward and take part in the festival of democracy thank you very much thank you sir we will now be able to take questions